I think it's so yeah. sick looking. But it takes it takes a while. Like the feathers are so pretty. On it, it warm, but like, I have a problem with the like <laughs> them being frozen in. <laughs> What's up everybody, Lord Beardo coming at you with a brand new Clash Royale video and we got something special happening today. We have a brand new legendary chest inside the shop so we'll be opening that at the end of the episode. Fingers crossed I need the log, the princess, or the miner. Those are the three cards. We could also get the electric wizard. Those are the three cards that I'm most excited about as you can see. From down below, we're going to be messing around with the Battle Ram today, and I really like the Battle Ram. The Battle Ram reminds me of the Hog, except for when it breaks, the Barbarians keep fighting, so that's really cool. It's such a great additive to the card, but the difference is, and the thing that I've been noticing so much with the Battle Ram, is it actually just, like doesn't find the tower very often for some reason somehow some way it is so tough for the battle ram to actually smash into the tower i don't know why i just they just made it a difficult card it's like it navigates itself around all the different troops sometimes it pushes the giant it's just crazy and the reason we kind of got involved with the battle ram today is because it was in the shop initially so you'll see in the beginning of this video we have it in the shop and then we got a bunch of them in a chest not that long ago so we were able to get it all the way up to a level six, which works out really well because we have to have things up to a level six in order for them to work in our arena. And then in the end of the video, you will see that we have a legendary chest that we will be opening. And I'm super excited about it, man, because I want to get the miner, mainly the miner. The princess would be really cool. I would like to try a princess mirror card, but we'll see if that ends up working out. I really want to like sit down and try to construct my own deck because I've been grabbing a lot of decks from online and they tend to work really well obviously if you grab them online they've been tested and true and i love it but i would like to create another deck of mine i put together a mortar deck a while back and it worked out really well but i got away from using it because i was messing around with some other decks i wanted to do some different videos and try some different things out but look how close we are to level 10. not only are we so close to level 10 but we have so many cards to upgrade and I think if we do upgrade those cards we'll probably be able to push over 3,000 because when I play people in my clan that's over 3,000 I do pretty well against them when my cards are bumped up to their level so we will find out in the future only time we'll be able to tell so this is the battle ram deck that we're going to go ahead and run and the giant works out really well with tanking for the battle ram and the Ice Spirit, a card that I'm not too sure exactly the ins and outs with trying to make it work out for myself. I've actually been doing pretty decent with it. So, I mean, all around, you know, this is probably the last video. Well, this is definitely the last video before they nerf the Executioner. So, unfortunately, I'm still using the OP Executioner for this video. You guys are probably going to be like, man, that's old news, dude. The Executioner is broken. But nonetheless... It was so much fun to use him while it lasted. I mean, it is a little annoying that everybody's been using him like crazy. But he's going to go ahead and get this perfect fireball down. We were able to hold on to that Ice Spirit just long enough to help ourselves out here. But look at that push, man. That Hog Push is dominant. 1777 on a Hog Push is a really good push. And look at this. We get our Barbarian to get a couple hits in, not too much. After the battle ram breaks, the executioner then takes out that dart goblin. So we got some good things happening here. We definitely are putting ourselves in a position to take care of business really well. We're gonna get our giant down. We're gonna push this right hand side. He's beating us hit point wise on our tower. He gets his giant down. Now his giant's a level seven, ours is just a level six. But we're gonna split up our archers to play a little bit of defense and zap his goblin spears now he did take out our entire skarmy again with the zap spell so we're gonna have to time that up a lot better but we got our arrows to help out with his skarmy but it takes down our giant in time so now look at how low we are man we got 1620 on the left 1777 on the right the musketeer is gonna get a couple shots in and all in all 
Dub City, man, it's coming out strong with Ice JJ Fish is gonna make quick work of our towers, man. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta buckle down here. We gotta play smarter. One thing that always happens to me in this game is I constantly, constantly, constantly just push way too hard. I'm always pushing way too hard and it tends to be a bit of an annoyance for me because I want to be better at the game and I wish I was better at the game but I'm always just pushing now our battle ram is gonna hit that right hand tower giant down Skarmy gets hit perfectly absolutely perfectly and we were able to take down that tower playing defense against his giant is working out so well for us we are making it happen right now guys we are trying our best to crush this guy the battle ram sneaks around the corner you'll see right there he's like fish tailing around they can never make the contact they need to 404 on the right bottom right hand tower and we are gonna have to play a little bit of defense now that goblin dart who happens to be one of my favorite cards i think they did such a great job with that goblin dart i love it i absolutely love the goblin dart in this game his Fireball is going to bring us down to 175. 10 seconds left. It's going to be tough for him to pick up that extra hit points on our tower. And we are able to sneak ourselves a victory. And that battle ram is fun. But look, you can see it's constantly just running into the back of the giant. It's never getting the job done the way that it could be getting it done. But when it connects, it's the best feeling when it doesn't connect you're just you're wasting so many uh, so much elixir by it not collecting collecting connecting connectedy connecting so we're gonna jump right in, into another match right here and we get excited to play against level nines because I feel like everybody I face is a level 10 or higher with very high cards so when we actually go up against a level nine I'm so excited about it when I have to play my arrows on just a princess I'm a little upset. Does anyone else get a little upset that the princess is just raining terror down from the bridge and there's nothing you can do about it? I guess that's the joy of having a legendary card. Fingers crossed we could get that princess at the end of the episode. I'm really pumped to get that. We're going to use this zap spell to try to save our giant. We miss it, but that executioner is going to take out those barbarians really, really well, really fast. And this is going to be a tough match, man. I don't usually play well against the Inferno Tower. I don't know why. I just don't know why. Maybe I have to use the, the zap spell a little bit more efficiently. I feel like I always either zap too quick and then it just kills it anyway, or I wait too long and then whatever tanking troop I have doesn't have enough strength to make it to the tower. It's really just catching that Inferno off balance, like out of rotation. Uh, the Royal Giant, I've been seeing a real surge of the Royal Giant recently, so maybe I gotta get back involved with creating a Royal Giant deck. I actually love the Royal Giant. Great, great card in the game. He's a little bigger than the regular Giant, so I don't know why. I mean, he already has a cannon, that's cool enough, and then they turn around and make him bigger. I feel like he should be maybe a little bit tinier, and that's why he uses the cannon, but you guys let me know. Let me know what you think. And also, if you're enjoying this video and you want to see some more, go check out some of my other videos. Sub up to the channel. Quick plug in there. Have some fun with us. Lady and I are streaming nonstop during the week in different various games, but we're going to take that princess out again. We are going to fight as best as we can to beat him. Now we got 1,036 in our bottom tower and he's got 1,594 on his top tower. Our executioner goes down. We get our ice spirit down. His ice wizard comes down. Now our executioner does really well with taking a lot of the hit points away, but he doesn't actually kill that mass amount of barbarians they're gonna take our giant down super quick we have to burn our battle ram we just are stacking up too many spells and too many low el elixir cards we weren't able to get in the rotation that we wanted to and that's one of the problems I have when I play this game I'm just too quick with the game I'm used to fast paced play man clash of clans very fast paced a lot of the games I play very fast paced. So I gotta learn how to slow down. Everybody tells me that all the time when I'm streaming. They're like, dude, just wait a little bit. You gotta stack up your elixir. But 
you know, something inside the old noodle, man. It doesn't let me stack up my elixir. Now look at this huge push he has going down. He only has 374 left to get. The Royal Giant is gonna make such quick work of that tower unless I could stop him. Now he zaps mine away. I could have used the zap there and I should have used the zap there to keep it going a little bit longer. But 1210, uh, just couldn't make it happen. The Battle Ram is a tricky card, dude. You keep seeing I got some losses stacking up. I'm trying, I got a draw and we were so close. We were really so close to pushing a new record for ourselves, and I thought I would be able to do it with the Battle Ram, um, but you know, you gotta you gotta lose a bunch till you can learn, man. This game gets crazy so quickly. It's such a difficult game to learn continuously when they're nerfing and changing all the cards, but stick with it, guys. You gotta stick with it. If I could stick with it, trust me, you guys could stick with it, because I get frustrated quick with games. <coughs> but we're gonna try we are gonna keep going I want to get the last couple legendary cards and really create some decks around that before I can make my full assessment I just feel like I can't make a full assessment about the game until I have all the cards I mean I, I like it. It's fun I get a little tapped out when I can't use the same decks that all these other guys are beating me with I mean I want the minor so bad. I can't even express how bad I want the minor I feel like It'll fit my playing style so well because I am an aggressive player and I can push with them. That battle ram makes perfect contact. We're able to stop that Valkyrie for a split second, but now he's got a massive push. We got 1254. They're coming over the bridge. That executioner, now watch the executioner, and this is why the nerf is happening. My goodness. He took out so many troops. They were able to really get my tower down to 1177, but honestly, for one five card play to take out all those troops, he had barbs, he had a minion horde, and a Valkyrie in there. To take all that out is just so aggressive. Those arrows gonna take down the spear, and the giant is just gonna continue to pummel away on his left tower. 388 left. Our Skarmy is going to help out playing some defense here. And now he's going to have to play something against this Skarmy or that tower is going to be absolutely crushed. He got the Valk. Great way to break up mass troop cards is with that Valkyrie. I was hating on that Valkyrie for so much, man. I always thought she was so strong, so powerful, but I never seemed to use her. I don't know why. I, I just, as powerful as she is, I just never seemed to use her. Now the Ice Spirit's going to help out a little bit there, and Zap going to go ahead and take down that minion horde. Tower down, Executioner style, just whoosh. That's how feeling like it is. Just whoosh. Now I wish before they fixed all the animation, I was actually able to see some of the glitches where like his axe would just fly off the entire map. I didn't actually have any of that happen. We're going to arrow that goblin barrel right there. And we got less than a minute, 47 seconds left. And we're going to play a little bit of defense after we drop our giant down. Now he is going to get such a solid push on this left hand side. Look at, I don't know where to go. I try to help out with the royal giant. I ultimately completely waste that zap spell. Well, but did I? Because I did save 95. Now he's got 30 seconds left, but he has to spend elixir to get that tower down. And that's what you're seeing happen there. We're able to freeze up that mini, uh, the barbarians, but they take out the log. Man, not the log, the, the, <laughs> the battle ram. The battle ram, the log, they look so similar, except for it's being carried. So maybe they don't look similar. I don't even know, but here comes the rocket. Boom, takes out our executioner. Giant down, he's ahead of us in this one. Battle Ram down, here comes our Skarmy to help out. The Battle Ram cuts right through the barbs. Boom, makes the contact, giant smashing. Here comes the arrows, 692, 45 seconds left. The Executioner in the front there to help out and he's gonna go ahead and take out the rest of the troops. Now he plays his Royal Giant and that's gonna allow us to stack up a nice offensive push after the Royal Giant is down. And that's one thing about the Royal Giant and Giants in general. I mean, once you play that card, it's a high elixir amount, but you could stack up against him and get a good offensive push. The arrow, 18 left, boom, boom, boom. We are winning some matches with the Battle Ram. 
Sorry, buddy. You brought me to overtime, but I was able to sneak out that victory with just 17 seconds left. And we're getting closer and closer and closer to the legendary... Oh, we, I mean, I'm like, fingers crossed, man. I need the princess. Or, you know, honestly, the log would be really beneficial as well. And the miner. The miner is like the one I want the most. There it is. The legendary chest. We're gonna see what's inside of it. And we may just happen to uh, have some new content to put together for you guys. And that's what I'm really hoping about because I want to practice the miner. I want to get that miner. I want to do some sort of a push deck. So here we go, babe.